What is up everybody? It's Justin Roman here. Welcome to 2019. It is 2019, January 7th when I'm actually recording this. If you're new to my channel, I make all kinds of videos, vlogs, tutorials, reviews. It is actually my goal in 2019 to put out more tutorial videos on my channel. So if you want to learn more about video and filmmaking, I'm going to be sharing all my top tips. So hit that subscribe button and tap the bell for notifications. So in this video, what I want to do is I want to go over my my speed ramping secrets. These are things that I do in my workflow that significantly improve the quality of my speed ramps. And I definitely notice when people aren't using these techniques, so I wanna share them with you. So let's open up Premiere Pro and dive right into it. Now right here, what I have pulled up is a house that I did from this past Saturday. First thing I do is I select all of these. Now normally, I would film this in 60 frames a second but for this one, I wanna shoot it in 4K to get the best quality image out of my camera. And the Sony a7 III, which I shoot on, and this is being filmed on right now, only films 4K up to 30 frames a second. So that's why you see 29.97. Select all the clips, right click, modify, interpret footage, interpret as 23.976. Now we have this slowed down about 20%. So this is at 80% speed. Then what you wanna do is preview the footage, figure out your start and end clip. And again, I shot this in 4K, so uh, if you notice that the video is lagging a little bit, I'm sorry. Even my new iMac can't even like handle some of this 4K footage without lagging. Take the video, drag it on the timeline. I am gonna use a 4K sequence, so that's why I can just drag and drop it on the timeline. So now is when you actually do the speed ramping. There's multiple ways to do it. There's two different ways I mainly use. One I think looks a lot better than the other, but sometimes I actually do integrate both ways. So check this out. So one of the fastest ways to do it, which doesn't look as good, is when you have the clip on your timeline, tap C on the keyboard, bring up the cutter tool, figure out where you want the speed ramping to stop, cut it there, hit the R on your keyboard for rate stretch tool, drag it as far as you want it to speed ramp. Now I will say whenever you're speed ramping, the faster the speed ramp to slow down, the better it's gonna look. About the only time you wanna use a long speed ramp is if you're actually going to do a time lapse and you have a lot of footage and you wanna make that look really cool in the time lapse. I like speed ramping the end of the footage as well, so I'm gonna cut it right there, rate stretch tool, drag it, boom. You are done. What this does get you though, and this is why I don't like it, is when you play it back, it stops like pretty abruptly. And to me, that just doesn't look smooth. It doesn't look natural. Let's go ahead and delete this. All right, so now my favorite way to speed ramp, you right click this FX, time remapping speed. What you do is you hit command click at the very beginning, and then you find where you want that clip to start to slow down. We'll say like right there. Command click, click and drag this middle part, drag it all the way up. I at least drag it to 500, maybe 600, depending on how fast you want it to speed ramp. And this is why I like this method, because you can click this little thing right here, drag it out, and what that does is it slows down that speed ramp gradually. So it's not gonna be a, a jump cut, basically, for speed ramp. So see how much smoother that looks? It's crazy. Now also, like there is a little bit of jitter in this footage, I don't know if you can tell, but what I do at this point is once I have the speed ramping done, I right click nest, any little bump that I wanna get out of there, I do the warp stabilizer and I do that at 1%. So you drag and drop it, effects controls, hit one for the smoothness. All right, so now another secret that I use, I have two clips, speed ramped, everything looks good. I'm gonna be playing them back to back in the edit, but when you look at the footage, look what happens. If you can keep the motion going in the same direction from clip to clip, then that's gonna make your transitions look a lot more smoother. So if you notice you have a clip like this where you wish you would have filmed it the other direction, very simple. You just go into here after you do the speed ramp, speed duration, reverse speed, the direction of motion is going, the camera is going left here and then boom, it's going left here. So that's what you want is you want similar motion. All right, now for my last secret. One thing you can start integrating into your films if you know how to do these techniques is you can film with a certain edit in mind, right? You wanna film with purpose so that when you come in the editing room, you can make your vision a reality. So right here, what I did, I'm gonna walk through this clip with you. I had this vision in mind. So there's this kitchen table right here in this little nook. I came into the table and I was like, you know what? I don't wanna just come into the table. I wanna come in and then I wanna go 
around the table and then after coming around the table I want to actually come up and go check out these lights again because these lights are super awesome so I filmed all that together in one shot all right so when I play it back it comes into the table goes around what you can do now is have I already sped this up to a thousand percent but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it tap C on the keyboard cut there and cut here before the start of the speed ramp and before the end of the speed ramp tap R on the keyboard and I'm gonna speed this up a little bit probably about right there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this clip this little sped up the speed ramp clip and I'm gonna right click speed duration and I'm actually gonna instead of frame sampling frame blending what that is gonna do is it's gonna put somewhat of a look of motion blur into that clip alone all right so now let's check it out super cool and then if you want to end with just a little cut speed ramp right here you can all right so that's it y'all those are my speed ramping secrets at least some of them i don't know if i can share all of them right start applying those to your clips and films right away if you do real estate or vlogs or anything like that they look super cool super easy to do and as always if you like this video please give me a thumbs up it really does help my channel out and subscribe if you have not already and i look forward to bringing you more tutorials in 2019